Hey guys and welcome back to another memory plan with me. Today I'm memory planning for the week of September 6th through the 12th. Any kit I'm using is by Vanilla Paper Co. But to be honest, I do not remember the name. Probably something with Cozy. But as always, I'm going to play some music and then be back for the day by day. Two years and you never said a word. And I was said it all. Uh -huh. You know, we don't want to fall in love again. Oh no, just think about what we did. It never worked, no. Tonight, I can tell you, you don't care. You always know how to get me sentimental. You always say the right things like. Pushing me away then You pull me back in Like I'm your lady But then you just stop trying You push away then When I go all in Like you afraid of what might happen If you're trying mm -hmm. I'm already done with this game So I might just be honest with that I'm pushing you away then You pull me back in Like I'm your lady But then you just stop trying So we're finally making some progress quickly about the base basically everything was from the kit other than the lace trims those are from my shop those are lace trim number three and then at the top of the page I used um, bokeh lights that I had for a recent two dollar Tuesday which went so amazing it was my best selling two dollar Tuesday ever I mean <laughs> I only had icons so far so this was my first flourish two dollar Tuesday and it went amazing so I was very excited that everyone loved um the bokeh lights as much as I loved them um but I think that's pretty much it for the base um to mark coffee monday this time i used a coffee mug from my newest addiction and the coffee manuscript and the flourish were both from my shop it was also labor day that day and to mark that i used a um lace mandala from sadie's stickers the flourish on a top is from my shop and then the labor day script is from artbox stickers and i also had a labor day sale that day i usually like having sales for either um my kids birthdays like my birthday um and like you know bigger holidays that's when i usually have a sale and to mark the sale i used that tag sales tag from uh clever girl crafts which i almost forgot that i had that that sheet from clever girl crafts. i haven't used clever girl crafts in a long time because I have so many other options now. Back when I first started planning, like um, decorative planning, I used a lot of Clever Girl Crafts because I had like the sampler sheets and that's pretty much all I, I would use. Um, but now, you know, my collection is slowly growing, so I have a little bit more options, but I'm glad I found it because color-wise, it matched so perfectly with the kit. Um, and the Audi full boxes, again, those string lights or bouquet lights are from my shop 
And then I also had some pot stickers today and the icon was from a paper shire, which I definitely need to pick up some more icons. I've been really into um, food icons lately. Not lately, I've always loved them, but I don't know. Last time I placed an order with paper shire, paper shire it was already so huge. I didn't really want to buy anything else, but... I think slowly it's time to place another paper shy order as well as white deer stationery because I just love both of them so so much. You guys know how much I love non-foiled icons. Um, okay, moving on to Tuesday, I received my sheet in order that I placed. That um, that package is from white deer stationery. Sorry, every time I record a voiceover, someone is walking into this room. <laughs> And the florals that I paired with that package um, was is actually by a sticker guru. I think I used mainly sticker guru flourishes because again I totally forgot that I had them. They were I think a two dollar Tuesday, but I do have a code for sticker guru that is Jenna fifteen and it's always linked down below as well. I only PR for sticker guru at the moment. Um, underneath the um, the package the floor the divider is from my shop it's one of these squiggle dividers and then the, i used a plane from white deer stationery to mark that i booked my flight that day i am well when you see this video i will actually be in california for about a week um i will already be there when this video goes up i'm pretty sure um if you watched my Two recent videos, you know that I kind of filmed all of these videos around the same time and then record the voiceover around the same time. Well, I took a couple of days break from my last voiceover because if you watched it, you know, I was not really, <laughs> I was not really having the voiceover. But um, yeah, I booked my flight for, for my trip that day. I still had some flight credits from um, a trip I canceled last year because of, you know, the pandemic so i still had the flight credits that was actually really nice so i didn't really have to pay anything for the flight um and then i marked me time with a face mask from my shop any me time script is from ice cream joe and uh, yeah that was pretty much it for tuesday moving on to wednesday at the top again the string lights from my two dollar tuesday and then i used a a book icon or like a little preschool icon from um, paper shy to mark that my son was a little bit struggling with homework not with the homework itself but he's struggling with having to sit down after school to do homework you know like he was in kindergarten last year but he had homework but it was a little bit different you know it was all virtually anyway so he was already sitting at the table the whole time with his brothers running around but now you know he thinks when he's out of school like he's done but he's not done he has to do homework so <laughs> but yeah also what they expect from first graders I, I i don't remember myself having to do what they're doing like it's it's a little bit ridiculous if you ask me but you know it is what it is he gotta do it um but yeah then i actually used some movie tickets from white deer stationery to mark that i purchased my tickets for halloween horror nights at universal which is where we're going to when i'm in california and let me just tell you, I'm a scary cat. I do not like scary things, but we will see how that's going to work out. I've, I've always wanted to go. I watch horror movies and I go into haunted houses, but I don't like it. <laughs> when I'm in line to go into a haunted house, I get anxiety. And I'm not kidding. I actually get anxiety. Like I start shivering. I get so freaking anxious, but I still do it to myself. And don't ask me why, but... It's not FOMO because, I mean, I guess people have FOMO for haunted houses, but I don't really have that. But I don't know. Like, I still like it, you know. It's just, it's a constant battle I have with myself when it comes to scary stuff. Like, movies as well. I hate horror movies, but I still watch them. So, there's that. But you will probably hear more about that when I plan the that actual week of Halloween. Um but yeah i did some more online shopping that day that icon was also from papershire and i did a new play made and made a new playlist on it, my apple music and the headphones were from my shop as well as the i mean not as well but the bouquet was from um sticker guru 
And then on Thursday, I used the switch from Paper Shy. I think I'm pretty sure that it was a freebie, um, a free printable from her Facebook group, which I have a lot of. <laughs> I mentioned that before too. If you're part of her Facebook group, she always offers um, free printables. And I'm um, sorry, I just smacked my tongue. <laughs> but yeah, I used that to mark that my middle son Josiah was a little bit clingy. Like he's really getting clingy lately because his brother is in school and he doesn't have him all day. Um, because obviously, you know, they love playing with each other. So he gets lonely and he's just by my side pretty much all day. I mean, the youngest and he is, they're all by my side all day. But I mean, I'm not complaining, but we played some games that day. We actually do have a switch. So that was perfect to use. And then I actually had some avocado toast again, which I haven't had in a while. I absolutely love avocado toast with egg and that little tray, to the tray, um, was from Paper Shire. Pretty much every time I use specific food stickers, they're always by Paper Shire. Um, I also took a very long nap that day. I guess I was exhausted, but the nap script is from Kinsey's Creations, who is no longer open, and then the pillow is from Piper Paper Company. And then I organized some files on my computer, and I think the computer is by Sweet Bullocks, or XO, if I'm not mistaken. The flourishes from Letters from Lay and the organized script again from Kinsey's Creations. Um, on Friday to mark orders, I used the printer from YT Stationery and I definitely have to pick up more because I know I have like maybe one left. Um, and I absolutely love that printer. So yeah, definitely got to pick that up. Um, I also caught up with laundry that day. That is from the GP Studio. Um, then I used a computer from Y... No from planting roses to mark that I found office background music, not, not music, sounds on YouTube, which is like basically it sounds like an office atmosphere and it's hours long, but it literally sounds like you're in an office and they have different ones as well. And that is so fun when I do concentrated work, um, like designing or something. Um, I love listening to that. I also love listening to classic music, classical music. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I haven't found that before. I don't even know what made me look it up, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's it's kind of fun. You know, if you have to do concentrate, concent concentrated working, that's perfect. Um, I also FaceTimed a friend that day. Again, the phone from my shop, the flourish from Sticker Guru. And then quickly moving on to Saturday, I went to Ulta. That is also from Paper Shire, the skincare um um, item the fold and laundry icon is from the GP studio and then that evening I watched the princess and the frog with my kids that script is from Kinsey's creation and the TV is from my shop and the princess and the frog is one of my favorite Disney movies I absolutely love it so much when it first came out I think it was the year I was in Virginia um, I lived in Virginia for one year in case you haven't watched my recent uh, my, one of my recent plan with me's and I think it was it was either 2009 or 2010 when it came out, right? I do not remember the exact, but I think it came out when I was in Virginia because I remember I watched it when I was in Virginia and I watched it in English. So I know like for a fact that I was in the States, otherwise I would have watched it in German. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, on Sunday quickly, um, the laptop is from Piper Paper Company. I just marked that um, we received an email that my oldest had Gabe or Gabriel. He had to um, quarantine for two weeks because someone in his class um, had COVID. And yeah, he had to quarantine for two weeks. He was fine. He didn't have anything. We didn't have anything. We all got tested. But yeah, that was not so, not so, that wasn't an, a fun email to receive, you know. <laughs> but at evening, I went to a Kobe with my friend. It's like a Japanese steakhouse and it was delicious. And again, that icon is from Paper Shire. But here is the full spread. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.